Schrodinger's cat. Heard about this. Schrodinger, uh, who apparently didn't like cats, goes to a great <laughs> amount of thought experiment effort to put a cat in a superposition. That's right. That would have never worked with Schrodinger's dog. No. That would, that would not have flown. Schrodinger's no, people, daughter people wouldn't have had it. said that he didn't even I'm a cat person. So I, in my version, they're a superposition of awake and asleep. Oh, sweet. You don't, have to, you don't have to kill the cat. You don't have to kill it. I didn't know you right. didn't have the to kill the cat. The point is, you don't have to kill the cat, but the point is there are different places in the box, okay? And what that means is that everything in the box, the air, the light, you know, everything moving around in the background interacts differently with the awake cat running around trying to get out and the asleep cat just snoring peacefully on the ground. And so the environment, as we say, entangles with the cat right away because it interacts with it, but it interacts with it differently depending on different parts of the wave function. Okay, I don't know that that's more clear to me. So your, your sleep and awake cat, but we declared that without actually sticking a sleep and awake cat in a box. I mean, we're just asserting that. Right. Why does that make- Radioactivity, and there's a Geiger counter, and the Geiger counter will click when it detects a radioactive decay. In radioactivity, you have no idea which particle is gonna decay. Okay. 